The Safari Land Group presents ABA Body Armor Female Unstructured Sizing Instructions. In this video, you will find step by step instructions on how to size ABA Female Unstructured Body Armor. Please have your sizing instructions available as we will be referring to them throughout this video. Prior to sizing, make sure that the officer is wearing their normal duty uniform. When sizing female officers, make sure the officer has sufficient privacy and is comfortable before sizing. You will need the following tools to measure the officer accurately. A cam, center apex measurement sizing tool, a soft measuring tape, a flexible ruler, an armless chair, and the appropriate sizing forms. Speak with the officer to determine their main concerns. When measuring, take all measurements to the nearest full inch. Step 1. Record the officer's information including height, weight, and bra cup size on the appropriate sizing form. Step 2. Full chest measurement. Have the officer adjust the cam sizing tool to where she feels the center of her chest is. Then, measure around the back, directly under armpits, meeting across the front of the chest, ensuring that the cam sizing tool is centered and level across the body. In our example, we have a 37 inch full chest measurement. Step three, total girth measurement. Measure the officer's waist at the widest circumference in between the chest and the top of the duty belt. In our example, we have a 25 inch girth measurement. Add the full chest measurement 37 and girth 25 together and divide by two to achieve the total girth measurement. In our example, this gives us 31. Step four, front panel width size calculation. To achieve the front panel width size, reference the front panel width sizes chart on the sizing instructions with the officer's total girth measurement obtained above. In our example, with a total girth measurement of 31 inches, referencing the chart, this gives us a front panel width size of SM for small. Record your size, SM, in the size traveler at the bottom of the sizing instructions. Step five, side front top torso measurement. It is important to make this measurement in the presence of the officer. Since you may have to round this measurement to the nearest whole number, you will need to consult the officer to make the decision if they'd prefer their vest to be one inch longer or shorter. It is recommended that you round down on length. With the cam sizing tool around the officer's full chest area, take a flexible ruler and measure from the bottom of the clavicle bone on the side closest to the officer's shoulder down to the center of the cam sizing tool to obtain the side front top torso length. In our example, this gives us seven. Step six, side front bottom torso measurement. With the cam sizing tool secured around the full chest area, use a flexible ruler and measure from the top of the duty belt to the center of the cam sizing tool to determine the side front bottom torso length. Subtract one inch from this measurement. In our example, we obtain a measurement of six inches. We will subtract one inch, giving us a five inch side front bottom torso measurement. Step seven, front panel length size calculation. To obtain the front panel length size, you will need to add the two numbers obtained from step five and step six together. In our example, we will add the side front top torso measurement of seven inches obtained from step five and the side front bottom torso measurement of five inches obtained from step six together for a total of 12. It is very important to note that the side front top torso measurement must be equal to or greater than the side front bottom torso measurement. To achieve your front panel length size, you will use the front panel length size chart in the sizing instructions. Recall the front panel width size you obtained in step four, in our example, SM, and cross-reference your calculations obtained above. Therefore, in our example, we will choose 11.5, giving us a front panel length size of R. Record this size, R, into the size traveler at the bottom of your sizing instructions. Step eight, back panel width size calculation. Take the total girth obtained from step three and referencing your overlap calculation chart on your sizing instructions, 
add your overlap preference. Then subtract the front panel width size from that total. To obtain this size, reference the chart on your sizing instructions with your front panel width size obtained in step 3. In this example, of a front panel width size of SM, this gives us 17. We will now subtract 17 from 34, giving us a back width size of 17. Referencing your sizing instructions, choose a size on the back panel width choices chart to reflect 17 and fill out the corresponding box with this size in the size traveler at the bottom of the page. Step 9. Back length measurement. Identify the bottom edge of the shirt collar. Measure from this point down to the top of the duty belt. Multiply this measurement by 0 0.80 or reference this measurement with the back length chart on the sizing instructions to obtain your back panel length. For example, with a 16 inch back measurement, multiplying 16 by 0 0.80 would give us a measurement of 12.8 rounded up to 13. We will now reference 13 with the back panel length choices chart on the sizing instructions and record the size on the traveler at the bottom of the page. You have now completed your ABA female unstructured vest sizing. If you have any questions, contact our customer service at 800-347-1200.